grabbing on to. We're, we're going to be performing our first uh, post-FDA approval harmony implant, uh, native outflow tract pulmonary valve implantation for patients with complex congenital heart disease. I'm Zach Steinberg. I'm an interventional cardiologist and adult congenital cardiologist at UW, um, and these are my partners. Yeah, Tom Jones, uh, director of the cardiac cath labs at Children's Hospital. Uh, and uh, adult congenital interventional cardiologist here at UW, times 30 years. And I'm Brian Murray, I'm an uh, interventional cardiologist from uh, Seattle Children's, as well as an adult congenital interventionalist here at the University of Washington. This is a woman who was repaired early in life for her congenital heart disease, and then nearly five decades has elapsed and has experienced known complication of the repair. She has an incompetent pulmonary valve. It leaks quite a bit, and she's feeling poorly from it and has for quite a while. Um, I think this technology that we're able to offer her today um, has been a major relief for her. She's avoided surgical replacement for many years, although we believe she might do well with that as well, but this is another approach, and we're all very excited to be able to offer it to her. Well, I, I would say that you know the Harmony valve is the, the first valve of, it, of its type. It's the first in class transcatheter heart valve designed for this patient population, that is patients that have had prior operations uh, often in early childhood, but sometimes into later adulthood, and are left with a valve between the heart and lungs that, that is incompetent, it leaks. Uh, and in the past, the only option for these patients was a uh, repeat open heart operation for a surgical pulmonary valve replacement. Um, that is a generally well-tolerated operation in younger people, but as, pe as individuals age, and certainly in this woman's uh, uh, situation, uh, that's, a, that's an increasingly risky procedure. So this is a way to very rapidly repair the, the valve and uh, uh, with much less uh, risk, uh, much more rapid recovery. These patients typically leave the hospital the following day, uh, but just a Band-Aid on the groin as opposed to uh, what would otherwise be a, a long stay in the hospital recovering from another open heart operation. And we're excited to be able to offer this type of technology to this patient population in the Pacific Northwest and this is a uh, this type of uh, procedure is not really widely available in the United States yet so the University of Washington is one of the early adopters of, of this technology um, so we're really fortunate that we have access to it. Uh, that case went great. Um, very pleased with the result and we're really excited to continue our program and help patients move forward.